Today we will show you how to replace the fan for your printer. The fan might be defective after yearly use, it will cause cooling issues. When it happens we need to replace it. Here is a new fan. What we normally do is replace the old one first. Then we have to open the printer up and arrange the cables. But welding make this so much easier. Just cut the fan cable and weld the wires. Let's get started. Remove the print head cover and motor cable. Cut the tie. Remove the screws and fan. The old fan is full of dust now. Use a screwdriver to remove the wrapper. This step takes some patience. Remove the printer head cover. Take out the fan cable. Cut it. Tear the black and red apart, leaving some length for welding. Burn the cable and reveal the copper. Be careful with it, don't burn yourself. Tighten the copper wires. Then do the same thing with the rest cables. Also, be careful with the copper wires, it's sharp. Cut the fan cable. Tear the black and red apart, leaving some length for welding. Burn the cables to reveal the copper, then tighten them. Take some heat shrinkage bush out. Insert both cables into the larger heat shrinkage bush. Push it to the bottom. Then use two smaller heat shrinkage bushes to manage the rest cables. Also, be careful with the fire. Bend the copper and connected two sides with the same color. Be careful, the copper wires might hurt you. The same with the other cable. Once you finished, you can start to weld. Use the welding gun to melt some welding wire. Then weld the joint well. Just be careful with it. After that, push the heat shrinkage bush to cover the joint. Be careful and gently, or you might get it loose. Then use a heat gun to make it shrink. Then push the larger heat shrinkage bush to cover them. Make it shrink as well. So it's now ready for installation. Put the new fan back into the print head cover. Settle the screws. Then tighten them to fix the fan. Put the fan cable back and wrap it well. Push the wrapper back to the print head top. Those steps take some patience. Alright, that's it. Put the cover back. Then tighten the screws to fix it.
Connect the motor cable. Connect the power cable. Turn the printer on. Insert the SD card. Preheat the printer. Lift the print head a little bit. Load the filament. Then start to print. You're all set. The printer will start to print after a while. Remember to check the new fan, see if it spins well. It usually starts to spin after the first layer. So everything's fine, thanks for watching. Happy 3D printing.